Hey guys, um, I'm just going to make a video here to show you guys how to make a Mac application. Most videos and tutorials on YouTube just don't show you how to, what to do afterwards and stuff like that, so I'm going to try cover as much as I know. Um, you can basically do a lot of things with a lot of different programs. So, one of the main programs that I use is Xcode. So, you just make a new Cocoa application. You use Xcode as well to make iOS applications. So, for iPad and iPod and iPhone and stuff like that. But we're just going to make one for the Mac. Dan. So, I don't know much about C or Objective-C coding, so I know a little bit, but not so much. So, I basically just work on the interface, uh, which is kind of a basic thing to do, like you can't do much with it. But basically, you can just like drag in things and link them together and stuff like that, so... If I was to save this and build and run, so it compiles and runs the project, you can just type in the text fields and change stuff like that, but you can link it up and make a fairly good application, but nothing like you'd expect you could make. So I kind of gave up on that a little bit and I went had a look what else I could do and I found Apple Script. So with this you can type in commands and stuff but um, you can make it's basically just easy simple coding which for me was more easy to understand. So you might say tell app maybe what's an app that I've got iTunes to open and then end tell so what this is going to do is going to tell the app iTunes to open and then I'm going to finish telling it what to do so I'm going to compile that I'm going to run it. And what it should do... Daniel! Okay, well, I must have done something wrong, but it still did what I wanted. It opened iTunes, which is over here. And it opened iTunes for me. So, if you want to just make simple apps, or if you know a bit about this, then that's good you can just make apps from Apple script but the best thing for me that I've seen is automator so this is basically just a really simple way that comes pre-installed on every Mac to make applications so you might say if you have a look at this I made this today using automator and you basically just pick it it's basically just access to your iTunes and whatever you like wanna listen to you can just listen to it from here so stuff like that then um, yeah so in automator we'll make something like this we'll go Maybe, so we'll ask for songs, so the user will be prompted to say what song they want to choose, and then they might want to set the info for the iTunes song that they want. So if we run this, so we'll choose that. And then 
we'll be able to edit this and toggle with it. Or maybe we'll try something else. We'll try... Get the current song from our iTunes. That might be a bit more simple. So, that will get it. But then we want to... Hmm. We can do whatever we want, really. So we'll add this song that we're currently listening to to our... new playlist. Or our library. So the current song that we'll be listening to will be added to our library. So for this tutorial, I'll just make a little one which will be Ask for Songs. And what this does will just open up the same thing like my little app did. And you just select the song you want to listen to. And then you just cancel the application. So that's a really simple app. So we'll just save that to our desktop, just untitled. And we'll get out of that. And here's our little app. Now, I had a bit of trouble when I was trying to get my icons onto my applications. Uh, I found a good program to help me out, though. It's called IMG to ICNS. So you can buy this on the Mac App Store for twelve ninety, or you can buy it online on their website. I'll put the link in the description as well. Um, I just got the free one, though, and that helped me out heaps. So, yeah, I've made like a, just a simple, simple picture, and then I'll open my uh, IMG to icons, and I just click and drag that, and then it gives me an option to make it an iPhone uh, image. Or I just want a basic icon. So I'll just save it there. So that's my icon. I don't need that app anymore. All I'll do oops, is get info. And all I'm going to do is uh, grab that icon and move it onto that. And it will change that for me. And here is my app. And we can just open that up and play whatever we want. So it's basically as simple as that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, just comment and I'll try to get back to you. Okay, thanks guys.